one, but two dramatic productions, Romeo and Juliet and Pride and Prejudice. Hello, I'm Toby, and I play Lady Montague. Hi, I'm Andrea, and I'm playing Juliet. Hello, my name's Anna Walsh, and in the play of Romeo and Juliet, I play Aeschylus. When I like found out I got the part, it was from Philip, he's the director, and I actually jumped on him, literally jumped on him. Uh, hi, I'm Philip Richardson, and I'm um, the director of Romeo and Juliet. I'm really excited to like, play the, the role because there's drama, there's romance, there's humour. He has to play otherwise well fit. Lady Montague is a very dramatic role to play because being Romeo's mother, she has to be very, very obsessed when he kills himself at the end. Aeschylus is basically the person who keeps the peace between the Capulets and the Montagues. I like the character because you know you get to really take charge of everyone and a lot of people say it's like just in my nature that I'm bossy but we know that's not true. I originally went for the part of Tybalt who is Juliet's cousin and he's a really angry character. Wave from yeah. Dumbledore. She's, She's, She's the fairest. What? Drawn and talk of peace. I hate the word, as I hate you, hell, and all Montagues. Have it, Lee! Uh, most of the rehearsals are sort of on around lunchtime. Same scene, take two, action. <laughs> it's really funny because somehow, somewhere, someone's going to muck up and just make the whole cast just laugh their heads off. Do me! Oh, no, do me! Is that. Even a question. We've got sometimes 20, 25 people coming. Sometimes we'll have, you know, five. If, well, often if we say we just need a few people for this scene. No! Die! 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 Yes, hurry up and die! When we were rehearsing it, it's so hectic and it's mad, but like, it's just really fun because of the chaos. Uh, Romeo's played by James Draper. Wherefore art thou Romeo? Yeah, we haven't actually done that many Romeo and Juliet scenes yet, so I don't know if they will be dreading it. I quite hope they're not going to be dreading it because I'm sure they'll be fine. I'm finding it a bit of a challenge doing a romantic scene with someone that I don't really know. <laughs> it's just really difficult trying to create that chemistry. The main thing about James and Andrea is the fact they don't really know each other that well because they're in different years. But you wouldn't think it through their acting. They act like they're a real couple. The rumours about me and James are definitely not true. We're just brilliant actors. Of course the play may be called, you know, like Romeo and Juliet. But you know who the real star is? It's got to be Aeschylus. I mean, he even gets the very last line in the whole of the play. Of course, I'm one of St. Bede's most experienced actors. I've been in Peter Pan, I've been in A Christmas Carol, and I'm going to be in Romeo and Juliet. I would describe myself as an actor. I'm an artist. Oh. Sorry, it's my agent. Oh, hello. Oh, Gregory, what have I told you? I can't, I can't talk to you now. I'm in an... What? No, no, what if it's, I'm not auditioning for EastEnders. Gregory, are you mad? No, it's Hollywood or nothing. We'll be having words. Sorry. What in a name? That which we call a rose by any other would smell as sweet. Romeo, doth thy name, and for that name which is no part of thee, take all myself. Many a morning hath he there been seen, with tears augmenting the fresh morning dew, adding to clouds more clouds with his deep sides, but also soon to... Oh, Gregory! Join us on the 7th of July, 7pm, to watch a spectacular show. You've seen the drama behind the curtains, now it's time to watch from the front row.